In this video clip, we're going to show you how to add a shadow to one of our effects. We're using a Spinosaurus here, and there, as you see, there's no shadow. The reason why we don't put shadows on is because we don't know which way the sun is shining in your footage. In this uh, background still image that we've got, the shadows are going uh, from left to right. So now we need to create a shadow from our Spinosaurus from left to right. Now, first thing I do is I normally add a bit of Gaussian blur to the dinosaur or to the effect because as you see the background here is blurry whereas our um, creature is a lot clearer which is normally the case you normally find that the you normally find that the effects are far clearer than the background so I'm just going to add a little bit of blur to it just to make it match the background it doesn't look too sharp compared to the background. That's not too bad. Okay, so obviously you can spend more time doing that. So what you do is you copy the effect. I'm using Control and C, and then Control and V, and that's just going to be a duplicate. Now I'm going to select the second one, not the top one, the second one, and we're using After Effects here for this, but. Uh, same principle applies for pretty much any of the editors that you have. So now I'm going to go down to perspective and I'm going to do a drop shadow. And then I'm going to go back down to perspective again. And I'm now going to, I'm now going to do basic 3D. So we want shadow only. So the layer at the bottom is now a shadow, if you notice there. We need to tilt the shadow to match the angle of the shadows in the actual picture. And you can do that by moving these dials around here. So you just play around until you get the right angle. You may need to move it down to match. And you can also um, rotate it here to make sure. You can even stretch the size to match it to your footage. That's not too bad now, it's roughly the same angle. Now I'm just going to make it slightly less invisible to match the other one. And what you can do is also add a bit of blur around the edge of the shadow so it's not too sharp, which is this one here. That's not looking too bad considering I've only just quickly done it. Now, as you, as you as you move along, you'll notice that the shadow will actually slightly go out of pace because you've moved it from the actual effect. And all you do is you keyframe the shadow to keep it the same as the effect. So as you move it, the shadow will move along with it. That's pretty straightforward how easy it is.